Greetings, performance reviews, where I give the review from the technician's point of view. And today I'm going to talk about this Hoover Auto Scrubber. I've had it for about five months, and I wanted to really test it before I gave it my seal of approval. Because it had really no reviews online, and it's brand new from Hoover. And since the time of filming here, they now have a cordless version of this. And yeah, usually when you make a corded machine, work out the bugs with the corded machine, and then make a cordless version, it's usually good. I will test that at a later date. Today we are just going to be talking about corded version in this video. And we're going to talk about the good. Some of the bad is mostly good. And I'm going to give you probably more information than most reviewers will give you. Now, I have been beating this up in my store. So this has not really been used in the home. This has been used in a place of business where people walk in with dirty shoes, especially here in Colorado. And gosh, it's probably been about two weeks since I've mopped the floors with it, but it gets used every one to two weeks. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, right away just take a look at that water. That is gross. Now, I didn't pre-mop, uh, pre-vacuum with this. Hoover says you don't need to. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. There's no cyclonic separation or anything. So I, I do have to say, I really recommend, whenever possible, pre-vacuum your floor when using this product. Um, they do give you two filters. That's a big plus as well. So we're going to deep dive into this, what I love about this, what I don't. Um, so definitely stay tuned. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. When that tank gets full, it lets you know right here. There's a little screen here. Sorry, it's a little dirty. Again, I've been using this a lot, and it has not gotten nice treatment from me. And I'm just trying to vet this product for you as the consumer. But yeah, it does uh, let you know when the dirty water or the clean water tank needs to be changed. Everything's pretty self-explanatory about the machine. As far as controls go, you have your on button. You have right here, we have a trigger. And then we have a plus button, which brings it out of its like energy efficient mode and gives you the full suction power. I almost exclusively use it on the plus setting. All right, let's talk about how dry your floor is actually gonna be. It's gonna be pretty darn dry uh, within about two to five minutes. Of course, I'm here in Colorado where it's extremely dry. I would imagine on the East Coast, this might take a little bit longer, but you can see it really did well in terms of its extraction and really how dry the floor is. The thing I'd like to mention is its edge cleaning is asymmetrical. So obviously here versus here, you're going to get a little bit different results. So just be conscious of that when you clean. I haven't found it to be a hindrance to the machine uh, as long as you kind of plan where you're gonna clean first. As far as how it does, well, you can see there's a pretty heavy duty mess. Again, it's not really designed to clean pet hair. This is a machine that's designed to be an auto mop. And I have, again, run another dirty tank out of this machine, and I'm really happy with that. So far, so good. Welcome to the in the shop section. Now, we're not gonna do a complete breakdown on this like we usually do. The cost of this product probably doesn't justify that, but I do wanna talk about some of the wear items and filters and stuff. And here is my brush roller after constant use. Here is a new brush roller that comes with it that gives you two, which I really like. So again, this one is wet, but if we're looking at length, so we've probably worn a little bit of this brush roller down. Um, again, it's wet, so probably fluff it up. It's really not that worn, so that's good. You're not actually gonna go through brush rollers. One thing I did notice about the machine, and that's why you're seeing it at this angle, is hair just seems to build up on this and you are gonna just have to clean that out occasionally. Um, I haven't seen any hair buildup on the drive area, which is a good thing. The other thing is we're gonna look at the filter as well. There's some dirty water and the filter, well, that speaks for itself uh, versus the other one it comes with. So you probably are going to have to maintain these filters. I've I've like rinsed these out and they've, they've been all right, but they really just don't go back to their color. Uh, so just be aware that you, yes, they give you spares, but you probably are going to have to use them. I would assume at least once a year, you'll probably need one of these filters. The uh, other thing is hair does tend to build up right in here and pull this off. There we go. Yeah. You see that hair just builds up right here. So, Put it in your toilet or whatever you're doing with this, but just be aware of 
your drains are sensitive, you might want to make sure that's clear. And you can see also where hair will build up right there. So that that's why I really suggest pre-vacuuming is it's really meant for you to pre-vacuum and not just use solid. Nothing has gotten stuck in the tube. Everything else has been pretty good with this uh, other than these maintenance items. And they're normal. All of these things require maintenance. All of these things uh, need to be cleaned up afterwards. Um, with this one, really what I'm doing is just dumping the water and taking the brush out and letting it air dry. And that seems to be all right. So those are what you can expect for maintenance. So the question is, Will this get between the wall and the toilet? Let's find out. The answer is an unequivocally yes. This has about a 12 inch head on it, which allows it to get into a lot of tight spaces. Also the swivel neck on this is pretty darn good. So Hoover's experience with their vacuum cleaners, and no doubtably the uh, Vax division had their input on this as well. It's pretty darn good and it's a big improvement over some of the previous floor scrubbers that Hoover's had. I thought rather than making an artificial mess, let's see how this thing does on like the snow melts and all the stuff I've tracked in, in my entryway here with this Hoover. Let's give it a try. Well, where the unit could reach, it seemed to have cleaned it up in like about two, maybe three passes. This stuff's been caked on there for at least a week. Uh, so it's probably worst case scenario. And it did all right. So I am pleased with the Hoover. I will have to go ahead and lift this area rug up and go around the edges of that. That really does seem to do a good job and it's a lot easier than mopping. What are my final thoughts on this Hoover auto mop? Well, this thing is versatile. It checks pretty much all the boxes, especially the price box. This thing's half the price of something like a high zero. It's from Hoover. You know you can get warranty work or at least get it replaced under warranty, unlike some of the other brands out there. And it's not a premium product. So I think if you're an apartment dweller or you're trying to ball on a budget, I think this is a must have. If you have a bigger house, the tank size might be a little bit limiting for you along with the cord length. Again, if you're doing under 2000 square feet, I think you'll be just fine with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a recommend. I think it still puts out too much water for unsealed hard floors. Uh, but that's my opinion. Your mileage might vary. If you want to support the channel, please, please, please help us out. Click the link below and you can get one of these and a little bit of that will help the channel. If you just want to help us directly, we have Patreon, of course. Big thank you to our Patreons who help pay for the camera and all this stuff as well. The other thing you can do that helps the channel that's free, of course, is to share this and give this video a big thumbs up. So I appreciate that. Appreciate you subscribing. We'll see you in the next one, folks. Have a great day.